grandfathers are to fight in Ukraine now that Putin signs a law admitting people to the army under contract up to age 65. People will now be able to serve in the army under a contract until they reach retirement age, which is 60 for women and 65 for men. Russia's deputy defense minister clarified that it will be possible to sign the first contract for military service in Russia up until the age of 50. In a seemingly desperate attempt to reinforce the country's depleted armed forces, Russian lawmakers are forcing retired Russians to join the military, which is ridiculous. Putin may have lost his mind if he wants to send all his people to certain death. Maybe it is to prevent total economic collapse. It is probably important to clear out some older generation now that they have sent more than 20,000 fit young men into the grinder. Their population has been contracting for several years as it is. Most of the old people may not be fighting. The number 11 constraint in this war is logistics. And this has become exceedingly apparent in Russia's pathetic war effort due to ill-prepared transport crews getting lost and exploded by Ukraine's military. It's a very unfortunate situation and I hope most of them just drive the truck to a safe place and call Ukraine's surrender hotline. Surely, most of them are old enough to remember their failed wars in Afghanistan and Chechnya. The Kremlin only wants them dead and it's better to retire in a Russia-adjacent country with healthcare than burn to death. Ukraine's soldiers have managed force invading Russian troops out of Tashkivka. With some Ukrainian reinforcements arriving, Moscow's forces near Kamyshuvka-Papasna were pushed several kilometers back.